the number one responsibility as a vendor to these dairymen is that we bring this technology to them at affordable cost because this is what's gonna help them persevere in the future throughout the, the next hurdles. And one of them is labor shortage right now. And as you can see, this barn is set up to help with that labor shortage. Any part of this facility, we could see a service call, whether it's uh, manure pumps, milk cooling, the robots themselves, the fans, or anything else mechanically. We literally cover it all. And seven years ago, we didn't do any of this. We installed refrigeration tanks and coolers. We are in Fairfield, Vermont, and he is milking 106 cows. They came to us to look at uh, putting in some GEA robots. This is our fifth ground up project that we've done. Some cows are already up to milking three times a day on their own. For us, it's an exciting thing because you have animals that have their own mindset that are willing to go into a product that we have comfortably. As you can tell, they know right where to head. And this is what started happening after the first week. So the cows come in through this one-way gates. If they've been milked and the robots are satisfied with everything, it sends the cow straight through back to where they can lay down, drink water, and eat food. She's not allowed to leave yet, whether she didn't finish getting milked out or she didn't make it to the robot yet. But that antenna up on top breeds the collars as well to have live data throughout the whole entire herd. So the robots track all the data for how often they go in, who does. This front brings down grain. So depending on where she is in her lactation, what her milk production is, it will give a certain amount of grain for that specific cow. One of the nice features about the, this brand robot is everything is done inside the cup. Put the machine on, strip some of the cow, and that will actually just go down the drain. Pull steps right in the inflation so that way we can guarantee its coverage. It doesn't do a spray or anything like that that has a potential to miss. Um, another exciting part for us through this whole project is it involves our DSR technology. We can see everything from our phones anywhere. Our fan system that's also being controlled by our DSR technology, as the temperature increases or lowers, the fans will modulate based on that. Um, it helps the owner of the dairy to regulate his electricity because when it's 40 degrees outside, there's no need for the fans to be on. There will be curtains right here, which they're not installed yet. These curtains will raise and lower based on the temperature. Those are Seneca cur curtains. They have a weather station up on top, so if it's raining and there is wind, the curtains will close. This is our pride and joy, these types of rooms right here. Go back to our beginnings, all the mechanicals, you know, anywhere from the refrigeration compressors up on the mezzanine, vacuum pumps, build the whole boiler system. I wanted to be able to provide a complete package to the customers. That's what really led to the beginning of it all. Um, then from there, I started gaining new team members, and that's really what's driven me to um, keep going at the, the pace that we're going at. Um, these team members that have come on have just made it exciting because they're all just as passionate as I am. A lot of these dairymen are up against, okay, what do we do next? You know, I'm 55 years old. I have a lot of aches and pains that I didn't have 30 years ago, but I don't want to sell my dairy farm. So these technologies allow them to keep going. They have a lot of pride in what they're doing. It is seven days a week for these dairymen and women, and technology is allowing them to persevere through the culture changes. The work we provide for these dairies is anything from cooling milk, to par uh, conventional parlor systems. We have the GEA brand and AffiMilk brand. We have our own DSR technology that allows us to have monitoring systems. We install or retrofit into current facilities that might not have our um, equipment in it. Uh, we also do ventilation systems. We've done 10 of uh, Tunnel Plus burns where it's panel fans and exhaust fans to help get fresh air into the barn and not just circulate air into the barn. We provide manure equipment for noon. We uh, provide JAWS equipment. Um, they have feed pushers and they have 
uh, manure scrapers, so he's actually going to get a manure scraper here next week. Bobovec is our feed pusher as well. We can span from anything, and we are a construction business, so we do say Dixel refrigeration, but we actually um, do way more than that. <laughs> and we actually build our own refrigeration units in-house. We almost have 30 units out. Dixel Refrigeration and Dairy Solutions as a whole, we range from many 50 cow dairies. There are still quite a few out there, up to large dairies that we service, anywhere from five to 8,000 cows. And with that variance, there's still one common factor. They're all generational family farms. We service up to a three hour radius. We do have some customers in Southern New York and, and Connecticut that we will support remotely or if it's a big emergency, we will actually travel five hours away and help take care of any issues that they have.